So here I have five worksheets. Each worksheet is corresponding to a particular region and it has the data for car sales in the year of 2021. And you can see it has the car models, the car types and all of that information. And in my main table over here, I have a list of all of the regions. So these are essentially all of my worksheets over here that I've just pulled over here. And I also have the car types. So all of these uh, five types of vehicles that are listed in all of these sheets. And what I want to do is to sum up all of the SUV sales and likewise for all of the other types across all regions. So for example, for SUV, I would like to see the sum of all of the SUV sales in uh, Middle East Africa, Latin America, and the remaining regions as well. So here, first of all, you can see that I've pulled the name of all of the spreadsheets. Now, if you had multiple spreadsheets, of course, you wouldn't want to uh, manually write down the names. So a workaround for that is you could check out this video over here in which I show how to extract all worksheet names in Excel. Uh, but anyways, after you've extracted all of your worksheet names, now we go on to the second step in which, as you can see over here, I've already calculated all of the total sales. But let me actually show you how how we can achieve that. OK, so again, what we're trying to do is we're trying to find the total sales by type for all of the regions. OK, so we're going to be summing this column over here for all tables and the criteria for the sum if function will be this column over here. But of course, the trick is that we're going to do it across all of these spreadsheets all at once and we're going to find the sum. So in order to do that, we're going to first of all, uh, I'm just going to show you something. If I go into equals here and let, let me go to another spreadsheet and let me just go to a random uh, random cell. OK, let's go to cell B2 of this spreadsheet. Now, this is this is what the cell uh, value is returning as because that's what it says over here. But if you actually click into the formula, you can see it's equals to single apostrophe, the name of the spreadsheet, which is Middle East Africa, single apostrophe once again, exclamation mark, and then the cell within that sheet, which is B2 in that case. So this is important for us to note. So I'm just going to take a screenshot of it uh, because it's important for us to know the, the syntax in which this is kind of arranged. OK. OK, so now is the time we actually add a real formula now that we have the syntax over here. So if we just go back to one of these spreadsheets, you can see that each of the spreadsheets have no more than 52 rows in my case. Um, but you can see that the type of vehicle is in column C. OK, and this is going to be important for us as we're working, because right now we pulled up the column B's, right? The cells in B's when we uh, did this example here in cell B2. But right now, in our real formula, we're going to be using column C because we want to see the vehicle types, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go into equals to indirect, open bracket, and we're going to start off with double quotes. Within the double quotes, we're going to put a single quote, and we're going to wrap it back around a double quote. And that is to represent this, double, this single quote uh, wrapped inside double quotes, essentially, OK? And we're going to follow that with an AND function, and then we're going to add the spreadsheet name. So in our case, we want to sum all the spreadsheets. So I'm just going to select all of these. And I'm going to press F4 to lock them as well. We're going to follow that with another AND function. And we're going to follow that with double quotes. And then after that, we have the syntax of a single quote. So I'm going to add a single quote and an exclamation mark. So I'm going to add that as well. And then we have the cell that we're referring to. So remember, in our case, we're referring to column C in each of these spreadsheets because column C has the type of vehicle, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to put uh, column C. Uh, in our case, it was from cell C2 all the way to cell C52, I believe, because each spreadsheet had 52 rows. But just to be on the safe side, I'm going to say C150. OK, now this is subjective upon your spreadsheets. And once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close the double quotes, close the bracket and press enter. OK, 
And this is one part of my formula. And now it's time for us to actually do the sum if, okay? So now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to wrap this around sum if. So sum if, okay, open brackets. So sum of this range, okay, this range is equal to the type that we're looking for, which is SUV in this case. Then we want to actually calculate one of the columns, okay? So in my case, here, let me just go ahead and let me add a random column over here. And if we go back here, you can see the E column is the one that contains the actual sales, right? So I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to say that if this range is equal to this, then I want to sum column E of my spreadsheets. So I'm going to actually copy and paste this formula that I made because I don't have to make it again. And I'm going to paste it right over here within my sum function. And I'm going to change the C2 to C150 to E2 to E150 because that's where my uh, vehicle sales are, okay? And I'm going to press enter and we get these numbers. Now, of course, these are not the right numbers because they're not calculating all of the SUV sales across multiple spreadsheets. What we need to do is we need to simply um, wrap this around the sum product function. So sum product, open bracket, everything that we wrote so far, and close bracket, and enter. $31 million worth of car sales throughout all regions. And of course, by car sales, I'm referring to SUV sales across all regions, okay? So now we can actually just drag this down. So now we have the sum of all vehicles by region and they're separated by their distinct types, okay? So we can actually validate this formula as well. And if I were to actually do a sum if separately on all of these tables, and I would to say, for example, a truck, and I would calculate all of the total sales for trucks across all of these spreadsheets, then that total will actually equal to this number right over here, okay? so. We've essentially used our sum product sum if indirect functions over here to generate these results. Now you may need to watch this video once again just so you understand the process. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, just follow this syntax that I've shown you and just alter the cells based on your particular spreadsheet. And you should be able to generate these results as well. If you have any questions, as always, drop a comment below. Otherwise, I hope you found this valuable and thank you so much for watching.